Anyway, October Red Boxing here with our champion. The, the man that seems to be defending every five minutes gets thrown into the fire with the undefeated is Tyler Denny. Welcome back. Thanks for having me on. Good to see you. It's always nice to see someone from West Mids. Anyway, talk to us about what brings you down here today and when can we expect to see you out? I know you're out on May the 6th. Obviously, that's our home show. But what's happening with you after that? Um, get my six out of the way first. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got some big news to announce in the next day or two. Um, and it's going to be big. It's going to be big for Birmingham, big for the West Midlands, and big for me, more importantly, because it's, it's, it's me in the ring. So, gassed. Gassed for it. Um, try not to get too exciting until it's all announced and stuff, because you never know in this game, man. But if what them saying happens, then... Boy, next level. The thing that I like about you is you've kind of like come up as an unsung hero. When you know, when I met you in the Coventry, when you was going up against River Wilson, Bent, who we can talk about his fight on Saturday. But that's where I first met you. Somebody that had that fire in his belly, someone that wanted to prove a point. And boy, Tyler, have you proved a point ever since? That's it, man. I remember. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, he's on about. I've not. I've not. Because that was the rematch as well. And. I was already a bit pissed off for him at that time from the first fight, do you know what I mean? But we're cool now anyway, by the way. Um, and you was like, oh, I've not even interviewed him. I said, you don't need to interview him. I mean, yeah, you, you forget about him. He's going to be old news after this weekend. But, he, you know, he's a cool guy and I wish him all the best. But, yeah, I've been on it, man. And since then, it's gone from strength to strength. Uh, win after win. And hopefully continue. Your story is an inspiring one and, and one that always makes me smile because like you said, you've gone from that having to wake up to go to your day job to be able to be a full-time boxer. You're paid enough to be a full-time boxer so you can have that quality time with your kids and still be in camp, going into the gym every day. It's not a chore now, it's your job. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw I keep telling the missus, she said, you got to do this. I said, my job's 24-7. That's what I tell her, like, you know, do the washing up, I can't be saying, I'm resting, that's my job. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but... You have got to take it like that, do you know what I mean? Like, the rest is important. To, that's not me trying to get out. I do do some shit, do you know what I mean? But um, Lies. <laughs> but I, I love it, man. I love it. But as good as it is now, you're only ever one fight away from getting back to that, back to the day job, do you know what I mean? So, but you got to keep winning, keep winning, and hopefully get where I want to be in. Which, to be fair, I never know where I want to be. I say get where I want to be. I just want to I only look at my next fight. I never look too far ahead and win the next fight. Then you concentrate on the next fight after that. I've got no... Like, some people turn pro and say, oh, I really want to win the British title. It would be nice, but I'm not that... I'm not really... I'm not even asked, to be honest. Um, give them the money over the title any day. Do you know what I mean? And you get them, like, the money and the titles are coming anyway. So I just want to keep winning. I'm enjoying the journey. And to be back... To be in Birmingham... Resorts world, you don't get no better than that, does it? The support that's going to turn out from that from home, because to be fair, Birmingham kind of let's get kind of get sidetracked. We kind of like forget it. I know we're a bit aggy up there. I understand that we're probably not the safest city, if I'm going to be honest. But we will come out. We will support our fighters. So you fighting in Birmingham, West Midlands fighter in Birmingham, is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, definitely, I've not fought local for years, do you know what I mean? For years. I mean, Coventry's been the most local one, but even then it's a hotel job, do you know what I mean? So, it's just a taxi up the road. Everyone's going to have a good night. We're like over a month away now and I, I, I've had like requests for over 500 tickets already, like, do you know what I mean? So, I think if you can announce this fight that we're talking about, it's just going to get through the roof, man, and the atmosphere. It's going to be like I've never experienced before. I want your thoughts then on your previous foal, but obviously, like I said, you're cool now. River Wilson Bent went in against Amar Williams, a, a fight that kind of like everyone wrote him off for, but you've been in the ring with River. Your breakdown on how he performed on the weekend? I thought you'd done well, man. And I think I've had a few messages, ah, River lost again, River lost again. And I'm thinking, you're a lot of jokers, man, just people like... Um, he took the fight on like three weeks notice. He's got paid. I don't know what he's got paid, but I'm guessing he's got a nice... He's on the AJ undercard at the O2 Arena. And now he's in Milan with his missus and that. So he's living his life, man. And people sitting at home, eating the takeaways of a fucking Budweiser and whatever, thinking, look at this guy, he's shit. And, you know, I just shut him down straight away, man. I've got respect for River. He's doing people... He's doing things that people could only ever dream of. And they like to rip him off and that. And I just think... I just... I don't need to entertain it, man. Um... 
Like I say, I'm cool with him. And even if I wasn't cool with him, I'd still respect yeah. him from, from doing that. Do you know what I mean? So the, 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 there's too many keyboard warriors out there. And that. I said, like, you can do it then. You can fight Emma Williams. Do you know what I mean? The guys took it on short notice, got paid. He, he, he was in a win-win situation, really. And I thought he boxed well, really. He got to him towards at the end, but he, he was doing well. So credit to him, man. We like that energy, but we can stay on that AJ card then uh, while we're talking about that. Your thoughts on Anthony Joshua's performance against Jermaine Franklin? Because as you know, Twitter's gone wild. Like you said, the Budweiser, everyone's sitting at home, always got something to say, but they couldn't do it. But you as a fighter, can you break down that fight and, and what are your thoughts on it, on his performance? Well, firstly, I think Kane Baker and um, Jordan Flynn, that, that, Ooh, that. Let's not get started there. <laughs> I mean, I remember I went to Tenerife and Jordan was there as well, but I thought, I trained with Kane Baker and that. he's my guy, man. And I thought he won. I was gutted and what a fight that was as well. I mean, I can't start shouting robbery and stuff because it is a good, entertaining fight. And I, I, Kane Baker's he, he's the guy if you want. If you want. I remember there used to be that emerging Dave Allen come save the day or something. Do you know what I mean? But Kane Baker, he, he, he's the guy, man. He's the hero. He just texts. He's, he's one of them Avglers will travel, but he's not one of them who tucks up. He, he comes to win. He's happy to take a shot to land one, do you know what I mean? And, you know, so big up Kane Baker. But as for Joshua, I, I don't know, I think maybe people have been a bit too harsh on him. Um, he's had two, he's coming off two losses. Um, he won. He always looked like he was winning. I think, I think because Franklin's not a big name doesn't mean he's no good, do you know what I mean? So you got to weigh that up. But the same destructive, confident Joshua is not there at the minute from before, but... Hopefully it'll come, man, because people forget what he's done for British boxing and that Olympic gold medalist, heavyweight as well. So everyone's gas for him, selling out of stadiums, fight after fight. And then, you know, as soon as someone loses, oh, he's no good, he's no good. And I think, you know, give it him, man. Do you know what I mean? You wish he was Joshua. Do you know what I mean? These guys wish he was. Fuck me, I wish I was John T. Joshua myself. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Six foot six, looks like the way he does and stuff. Millions in the bank. Um... But with that comes a price, though. Yeah, He's course. got the target on his... I wouldn't even say the target's on his back, it's on his face. Yeah, I know. And everything... Because he's right at the top of the game. Everything he does gets scrutinised big time. But, you know, let him live, man. And he, he said he's going to come back out in July already. So, I look forward to it. I'm a big AJ fan. Um, everyone wants to see Joshua Fury. Well, what do you think about him? What do you think about what his next fight should be? Because... New trainer, yeah. uh, you know, went up against Jermaine Franklin. Everyone thought he was going to knock him out. Even he wanted to knock him out. He said that himself. He's been honest. Should he be fighting Tyson Fury next? Um, personally, if I was looking after him, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But I was thinking, all you got to say is don't ask Anthony Joshua because he's going to say, yeah, you know. Do you know what I mean? So all fighters need looking after themselves, really. I think he needs like a... A confidence booster job, do you know what I mean? Before we can get in the ring with like a Tyson Fury, and it's a fight that I wanted to see for years, and I don't. We thought we was going to get it, but I don't think it's quite the same fight as a few years back. Now, you know, when Anthony Joshua's blasting everyone out, I think you want to get that spike for Joshua back, man. If we can get that back, then it make the fight a lot better. But I wouldn't put him in there yet, unless you want to cash out on him. But I don't think I think he's got plenty more to offer yet. Just build him up, man. Build him up. As a fighter, then you know you've you know you've been in some wars yourself, some really tough fights. When that kind of like dog, you've got the dog in. It's it's naturally we get boxers and then we get fighters that can box. Will he get that spark back? And I know you can't speak for him, but all right then. What type of individual does it take to be able to get that that dog back? The dog that they once had. I mean, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because yeah. it's a tough one. I don't know what he's got to do to get that back. But I'm hoping he can get it back. All he can do is cross your fingers and hope so. Because it's not, I don't want to be critical of him, but he, you know, he's had 10 times. If I could do one tenth of the career of Anthony Joshua, I'd take it now, snap my hand off. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But he, he spoke that killing instinct doesn't seem to be there. But hopefully, he can take time with his, with his new trainer that he can come. And every, that, everyone should want that. People want to diss him and do this. But for the sake of British boxing, he's a superstar. And whatever he does good, is good for everyone in boxing in this country. So I hope so. I hope so. Whether, can get, whether it comes back or not, only time will tell. But I hope to God it does. Well, we're going to finish on yourself. You are back out May the 6th. <laughs> 
What can we expect from you on May the 6th? Because you're somebody that has got that dog in you. That's somebody that is not afraid to practically... You said to me, you are prepared to get knocked out. And we can believe it because you've shown us. Your opponent this time, what can we expect from you? Same old, man. You know what I bring to the table. I'm there to win. Um, like I say, I'm willing to put my chin on the line, everything on the line. I need to win. Like, losing is not an option for me. So, absolutely. I, I can't wait for it. And to be, like I say, I'm just gassed that it's in Birmingham. And these little like saying, there's going to do a show in Birmingham, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, do one there. I'll sell loads of tickets and all that. And then you, they say them doing one, and obviously the pressure's on you to sell them. But the response I've had is unreal, man. And I'd like to thank everyone already who's had him. And hopefully we can get more and more. And it's good for the area, man. I think if the, sell, if the show doesn't sell, they're not going to come back, are they? It's just a business at the end of the day. So if everyone can pull together, everyone turns up, we'll have more of these. Do you know what I mean? Because let's be honest, football's dead around there. Do you know what I mean? There's no, do you know what I mean? Blues, you don't talk about blues. Stadium's falling down. Villa's got a bit of pick up now. You think Albion, Wolves, no one, there's nothing to cheer about, is there? So if we can bring it through the boxing, uh, some, some sort of light at the end of the tunnel and... You know, good local boxers on as well. I think Shakan's been added, uh, Casey Benjamin's been added, um, Ben, ben Whitaker's on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let, let, let's, let's go and show, showcase for West Midlands, man. Show what we're all about. We absolutely love that. I'm super excited about it. This entire day, it's always a pleasure. And thank you for always supporting the channel because there is nothing sweeter than when you're on back here. So I've got to say a massive thank you and respect to you. October Red, number one in the game. Number one. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.